Hi, second grade friends. It's Miss Rizelle again, and I'm super excited for another day of a handwriting lesson. Go ahead and find your orange cursive books for me. We are going to be doing uppercase cursive letter E, as in egg or elephant, except those wouldn't get a capital letter unless they were at the beginning of a sentence, okay? Maybe you could think of a proper noun like Epcot at Disney World. That would start with a capital E. Go ahead and find 38, page 38, uppercase E. And then I'll see you back here after you pause this video and get all settled in with your pencil and a marker or a highlighter. Okay, friends, here we are with uppercase E. I'm super excited. Let's get started. So we are going to trace this top E and we are going to curve around, kind of looks like a backwards three and make sure that you hook up to this fence line right here. And just like on Monday with that capital C, it also has that hook at the front beginning part of that E. If you don't want to do the hook, you do not have to. It doesn't matter or make a difference. So now let's practice. Starting at the top skyline, you're going to do a little loop-de-loop -loop at the fence line and curve up, okay? Again, to the fence line. Finger space in between, curve up to the fence line. Up. Curve up. Again, making sure that you put a finger space between each letter and that you are forming these letters all the way to the end of the line. Great job, friends. Making sure that you're taking your time and you're focusing because we want our cursive to be our best second grade handwriting. Notice that it looks like a backwards three, doesn't it? Very similar. Ooh, and we get another time to practice this. How are yours looking? Are you super proud of them? You should be taking your time, doing your best work. Okay, now let's pull out our highlighters here. Circle your favorite one on each line. Which one are you the most proud of? I like that one. This one looks good. I like that one. Okay, so now we have some proper noun names over here. We have Eric. So if you want to try to trace Eric first, and then you may write it. E R I C dot your I. Now we have the name Emily. Trace it first for practice. Pick up your pencil, dot your I. Now let's give it a try. E-M-I-L-Y, dot my I. Elvis, like Elvis Presley. E-L-V-I-S, dot your I. And Edward, E D W A R D, Edward. Now we have Eldora. You can trace it or get right into writing it. And Eva, E. V A, that was a shorter name. Now we have our sentence, Erica enjoys Earth Day. We have Erica is a proper noun, the name of somebody, so we need to capitalize it. And Earth Day is a holiday, so we need to capitalize both of those words. Again, if you feel more comfortable tracing the sentence first to practice, I think that's a great idea. Making sure that you're putting a finger space in between your words. Look at you guys go, you're writing sentences in cursive and we could not be more proud of all of you at home working so hard on your cursive letters. Just think you can start practicing writing your spelling words in cursive. You can start writing your own sentences in cursive. Don't forget your period at the bottom. Boys and girls, super, super proud of you like I just said. 
congratulations on finishing your cursive uppercase E's. Give yourselves a big cheer at home. Woo! Okay, and guess what? This is your last video of the week, so I have your last mystery word to add to your mystery sentence. And don't forget, next week you're going to turn in your mystery sentence to your teacher on Monday morning, no later than that, so that you can get rewarded for it. All right, drum roll, please. Here's your last word. You're going to want to pause this video. It is message. M E S S. A G E with an exclamation at the end, an exclamation point. Don't forget it. Pause this video so you can write down the word message and finish up your sentence. Congratulations, second graders. You've worked super, super hard. We're super proud of you. We'll see you on Monday. Adios.